Hi everybody. This topic for today is titled, What Do People See? I will start off by summarizing um, a snippet of King David's life. Uh, it is from 2 Samuel chapter 12, verses uh, 1 to 10. And what happened in uh, chapter 11 was when he met Bathsheba and uh, slept with her, got her pregnant, uh, tried to hide it by having her husband come back from the war and sleeping with his own wife, but he did not do that. Well, long story short, he ended up uh, sending her husband back out to war and he made sure that her husband was put in the line, hotline of battle and he died in the war. Uh, Nathan the prophet actually came to David in verse, uh, excuse me, in chapter 12. And uh, he was talking to David and he gave him this story about um, a person did this and um, he did this and he did that. And David got angry with the story that Nathan was telling him. And David said that this person deserves to die. So we're going to pick up in uh, verse, verses 7 to 10 and I will read those to you. It says, Then Nathan said to David, You are that man. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I anointed you king over Israel, and I delivered you from the hand of Saul. I gave your master's house to you and your master's wives into your arms. I gave you the house of Israel and Judah. And if all this had been too little, I would have given you even more. <coughs> Excuse me. Why did you despise the word of the Lord? By doing what is evil in his eyes. You struck down Uriah the Hittite, which was Bathsheba's husband, with the sword and took his wife to be your own. You killed him with the sword of the Ammonites. Now, therefore, the sword will never depart from your house because you despised me and took the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be your own. Uh, before I go into uh, my story, I want to encourage you to um, read further uh, about King David because King David was a wonderful person. He was a wonderful king. And um, it just goes to show you that we all do things wrong. And if you ask God for forgiveness and you really want to be forgiven within your heart, he will forgive you because this is only a snippet of David's life. David had a good life even after this. <clears throat> so there was a job that I had and at this job uh, there would be people that would come up to me and they would tell me things and this one particular person uh, <clears throat> somebody was talking about her once and it was a guy, and um, he always spoke of uh, the the facial hair that she had um, because her skin was lightly complected like mine. And when he would say things about her, I would look at him, and one day I just asked him, and I said, why are you always talking about her and you don't talk about me like that? I said, because we're pretty much the same complexion. I said, and I got fur around my mouth too, I said, but you don't ever say that to me, or do you? And he said, no, we don't say that about you. He said, because you're a nicer person and that's not what we see. And um, <clears throat> I was kind of uh, initially puzzled by it uh, just because I had heard so much about the same mustache that I have here. Um, but I didn't hear about it with other people mentioning my name. They would mention her name. Uh, so my question to you is, <laughs> when people see you, what do they see? I knew that I had, um, excuse me, and still have, um, light peach fuzz up against my, uh, underneath my nose just because I am lightly complected and my hair shows up more like that. Um, but the encouraging scripture that I want to read is from James chapter 1, 
verses 22 to 24. It says, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. I'll read on to verse 25. Um, <clears throat> it says, but the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. So earlier I asked the question, uh, when people see you, what do, you, what do they see? Um, but I think the bigger question is, is when you see yourself, what do you see? 